Hey guys, what's up? So, first of all, I just want to say, sorry I haven't made a video in like a few weeks. Or, um, I don't know, like a week and a half or something. Um, I've just been really busy and just had a lot of stuff I had to do and I've been sick. And, um, that's basically it. So, whatever. Um, anyways, this video is going to be a review of the new flat iron I got. And it is the, let me see, Cricut Friction Free Tourmaline Ceramic Flat Iron. This is a little box. Um, so, first of all, I'm going to say that this actually came in like a set um, with a blow dryer and I think something else, but I've, I'm only using the flat iron. My mom um, got the other stuff for her salon. And um, I looked up the price online, and I think that I found it online for like $50 or something, maybe $60. I can't really remember. But um, I don't know how much I actually got this flat iron for because my mom just went to the beauty supply. Um, I told her I wanted a new flat iron, and she just picked up one that she thought looked like a good one <laughs> and that was a good deal so yeah I'm just gonna say right off I don't know how much exactly it was but this is what it looks like and it, um this is actually the pink like breast cancer awareness one or whatever um but I know that it comes in like a white color also I think but anyways so I've been using this for I don't know like maybe a week now or something um, and so far I'm liking it. It's pretty good. Um, the old hair strainer I had was the Babyliss Pro Tourmaline 500, I think. Um, and I really, I liked that one a lot, actually. But mine just was dying, kind of, and there was like a problem with the plates weren't lining up, so I was like, okay, I'll try a new brand. Um, so... This is a Cricut. A Cricut is basically, um, I've heard it's like one of the top professional brands. Um, there's like Cricut and Chi and Babyliss and a few other ones, but those are all like kind of more of the top of the line ones. And this is pretty nice. Um, I used it today, so obviously, I mean, my hair is pretty straight. Um, I would say that compared to my old one, it's definitely about the same standards as my old one. Um, it gets my hair about like the same straightness and um, it's it's not completely friction free like it says this is supposed to be friction free. It's not completely but I mean what hair strainer is going to be completely friction free? This is This is pretty good. I would say it's there's not a lot of friction, and it's not all that damaging to my hair. I mean, of course, it, again, it's going to be a, a little bit damaging, but it's it's really not that damaging compared to other hair strainers I've used. So, I'm I'm also really liking that it's uh, the tourmaline because I guess tourmaline's like some kind of thing that like makes it more smooth, and I think that's also what makes it like be friction free or whatever they're calling it um but yeah I've used just the plain ceramic hair straighteners and then I've used tourmaline ones and I definitely like tourmaline better um so I'd say this is pretty good um I don't know it it's one of the better hair straighteners I've used I'd probably give it like an 8 out of 10 because I, I could say it would get my hair straighter like I'd prefer my hair a little bit straighter than I got it but it's pretty good and I don't I didn't find myself having to like go over the hair like many many times basically got it all in like one or two tries so it's really nice um another thing is it doesn't heat up as fast as my old hair straightener and um it has I don't know if you guys can see but inside there's like little this is to control the heat setting. There's like an on off switch and then inside there's like a button. I don't know if you guys can see or like a light and it when it's heating up it's red and then when it's heated up all the way it turns green. So it takes like three minutes to heat up. My old one seriously heated up in like 30 seconds or something. It was so fast. So I don't know. Definitely not like 
I'm 100% like this is the best hair strainer ever, but I'd say it's worth the money and it's it's pretty good. So I definitely would recommend this if you guys are looking for a new hair straightener. And um, yeah, that's all I have to say. I hope you guys enjoy watching this. Bye!